Governor Fallon's address was closely scrutinized by a group of Oklahoma State University students that watched OETA's live broadcast. Political science majors used perception analyzers to record their reactions to the speech and provided insight into what they consider to be important issues. These OSU students are not your average voters. Because they're political science majors, they know more about politics than the majority of Oklahomans. It's very similar to the State of the Union address. Professor Brandon Lenore asked them to watch the entire State of the State address using perception analyzer equipment to log their real-time reactions to the governor's speech. Using a dial, they indicated how they felt about each topic the governor focused on. If we spend money on programs that don't work, there's a word for that, and it's called waste. A monitor at the back of the room showed their real-time reactions. It costs the state around 19000 a year to house an inmate, but only 5000 a year to send an offender or an addict through drug court and on to treatment. In addition to being less expensive, it also is more effective. If you look at the recidivism rate for offenders that are sent to our drug court, only one-fourth of those will recidivate have recidivism and come back into the prison system. Prison reform got the students' attention, as did education. We must encourage more Oklahomans to continue their education beyond high school. Currently, Oklahoma's workforce is not meeting the education levels needed to sustain our job growth. For Oklahoma businesses to meet labor demands and Oklahoma citizens to find good jobs and careers, we need to address the emerging skills gap. The issue the students most strongly agreed with also struck a chord with lawmakers. We can pursue common sense solutions like going smoke free at all K through 12 schools in Oklahoma. <laughs> and also banning practices like texting while driving, which kills Oklahoma's many teenagers every year. Hallelujah, I thought you guys were asleep for a while. For our lobbying strategies class, we are um, trying to gather information and draft up um, possible legislation to ban texting and driving in Oklahoma. And that was just really encouraging to know that Governor Fallon is supportive of that. Professor Lenore noted some particular responses, including those based on gender. On two of those issues, education and the overpopulation of, pri of prisons, uh, the, the females in the audience uh, were more favorable of what the governor had to say. But when we got to infrastructure, bridges, roads, making sure that businesses who want to relocate here can actually get from point A to point B, the men were more supportive. Speechwriters might take note of how the students reacted when Fallon directed the audience to look at a chart showing the decline of state tax receipts that end up in the general revenue fund. The students had no reaction. How do you think the average voter would receive that? probably boring, probably disengaged, probably start to tune out. The majority of the students thought it was a good speech, but... I would describe it as a pretty generic speech. Um, she start, tried to stay pretty neutral. She didn't delve into any divisive issues. I thought she actually did a good job of um, communicating in a broad sense that it would appeal to a lot of audiences. She didn't get into, in my opinion, she didn't get into a lot of details of exactly how she was going to execute a lot of her plans. She is wanting to increase funding for education. The fact that she is wanting to decrease the, de the criminalization rate, like those are wonderful things that I think will benefit the people of Oklahoma. And I'm just very interested to see how the legislature is actually going to react to her agenda and if they can actually um, create legislation that will put that into effect. And there were some topics students would have liked the governor to address. Grant Armstrong is a graduate student and will soon be flying solo without the help of parents. You want to have a, you know, a sense that you're going to be able to buy or have some kind of quality health care that's affordable. And I think a lot of people, um, especially since the Affordable Care Act has been passed, there's still a lot of questions um, that necessarily haven't been answered um, and a lot of things are still in doubt. So maybe more certainty about health care. 
Kayleen Umel wanted Fallon to address the teacher shortage. If we are not, not able to educate our children with high quality teachers, what future of Oklahoma is there? And she never really addressed the quality of teachers. And I think that is one of the most important jobs in the state of Oklahoma. While Fallon's goals for the legislative session were deemed important by the students, some were left wondering whether there will be money and whether lawmakers will have the will to achieve them.